Hi, I'm Bill Sank from Faith Presbyterian Church. I'd like to thank you today for joining us for our daily prayer. And today we're going to open up uh, with a reading from the Gospel of Matthew in the fifth chapter. And uh, what this is, is it's actually the beginning of Jesus' most famous message that we call the Sermon on the Mount. And it opens up with a part that's called the Beatitudes. Let me read it to you. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Please join me in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, for all the things that you've given us, Father God, for all of the blessings. And Lord, your blessings come through very ironic circumstances often, Lord, as we reflect on the Beatitudes and think of how you consider those who are poor in spirit to be blessed or those who mourn to be blessed, those who are meek and those who are merciful. Lord, these are just incredible uh, blessings upon groups of people that we wouldn't consider to have these sorts of blessings otherwise. But Father God, you take that which is weak and you make it strong. So Father God, we praise you for this miracle that you, perfor that you perform. And Lord, we pray that during this time of weakness for our country, Lord, that you will make it a very blessed time. That Lord, after this is all over, that our country will bounce back, be stronger than ever. The economy will rebound. That people's lives will not just return to normal, but Lord, that they will be able to thrive and prosper as a result of remaining faithful to you and just uh, being ready to, um, to move forward in their lives and to glorify you by spreading the name of your son, Jesus, Lord, as many of us have had more time to pray and more time to be in the word and more time to even contact people and communicate with people. So, Lord, I pray that after this is all over that we just see a time like none other in our country, just incredible prosperity like we've never seen before. Father God, I pray for our leaders, particularly those who are Christians that are trying to lead their church. As Lord, I, it's, it's very hard to know as a leader in this sort of position um, how exactly to communicate uh, with your congregation, with those who depend on you, with those who want to know what your thoughts are. But Lord, I pray that you bless them with special insight into what's happening. And nor, Lord, not that you're going to give them all the answers, but Lord, that uh, rather that you will just help, help them to be a, a source of hope for people, to allow them to know this will all be over before we even know it. And Lord, just our lives will be something that we can't actually see right now. But Lord, that it will be something better. So Lord, I pray for you to be with them, to guide them in their decisions, to guide them with how they speak. We pray this all in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen.